Omen Scobie's hasty escape from the United Kingdom to Los Angeles has set off alarm bells and ignited a firestorm of controversy. Scobie's troubles began when his latest book, Endgame, ignited a race-related storm. In this book, Scobie alleged that Meghan Markle had identified two members of the royal household who purportedly made racist remarks about the skin color of her son, Archie. However, it didn't take long for the truth to come out. Scobie had mistranslated a French word, and it turned out that Meghan had actually named only one individual. This monumental blunder triggered a furious backlash from royal fans and commentators, who accused Scobie of peddling dishonesty and sensationalism to boost book sales. Legal threats from the royal family followed suit as they vehemently denied the allegations and demanded both an apology and a retraction. In the midst of this maelstrom of controversy, Omid Scobie, often labeled as Meghan's most ardent supporter and propagandist, seemed to have sensed danger on the horizon. He hastily sought refuge at Meghan's luxurious Montecito mansion. It was there, in the opulence of her abode, that they conspired on their next moves. A strategy designed to catapult themselves into the limelight while smearing the reputation of the royal family. Their grand plan encompassed a series of audacious projects, including a Netflix documentary, a podcast, a memoir, and even the possibility of launching a political campaign. Megan, it seemed, was aiming high, harboring dreams of becoming the U.S. president, and she viewed Scobie as her key ally and mouthpiece in the media. As part of their quest for relevance and impact, Meghan Markle made a high-stakes move by inking a lucrative deal with WNE, William Morris Endeavor, one of the entertainment industry's prominent talent agencies. The agency is led by CEO Ari Emanuel, known for his shrewd business acumen. Sources suggest that Meghan and Scobie engaged in behind-the-scenes plotting to tarnish the royal family's reputation while simultaneously boosting their own profiles. It's a game of public relations chess, and they were determined to be the kings and queens of the board. However, their covert meeting didn't escape the watchful eye of the ever-vigilant paparazzi. Snapping photos of Meghan and Scobie entering and exiting the WNE office, these photographers unintentionally unraveled their clandestine plans. These images swiftly made their way online, setting off a firestorm of outrage among ardent royal watchers. Many critics slammed Meghan for alleged manipulation, hypocrisy, and deceit, accusing her of using Scobie as her pawn to disseminate false narratives about the royal family. The hypocrisy was palpable, considering Meghan's incessant claims of being a victim while simultaneously plotting to damage the reputations of others. Doubts regarding the credibility of Scobie's book, which purported to unveil the inner workings of Meghan and Harry's exit from the royal family, began to mount. Critics argued that Scobie's credibility was severely compromised by his cozy relationship with Meghan, leading to accusations of bias and agenda-driven journalism. In a scathing comment on Reddit, one user didn't mince words. Meghan Markle is a master of deception and manipulation. She is using Omid Scobie as her puppet to spread lies and propaganda about the royal family. She is trying to destroy their reputation and legacy with her false accusations and victimhood narrative. She is a disgrace to the monarchy and the Commonwealth. Another commenter didn't hold back either, labeling Scobie a fraud and a coward who fled the UK to lay to seek shelter behind Meghan Markle's skirts. The commenter argued that Scobie should publicly apologize to the royal family and the public for his dishonesty and bias, calling him out as a sycophant and a parasite. As the scandal continues to unfold, Meghan Markle's talent agency, WNE, is purportedly aghast and exasperated by the negative publicity generated by their client. Rumors are swirling that WNE is considering cutting ties with Meghan, driven by fears that her actions are not only damaging their reputation, but also harming their relationships with other celebrities and clients. One senior production source minced no words in expressing their discontent, stating, Meghan Markle is a nightmare to work with. She is demanding, difficult, and divisive. She is always causing trouble and controversy with her actions and statements. She is alienating herself from the industry and the public. She is not worth the hassle and the headache. Dalian E is seriously thinking about cutting ties with her and focusing on more reliable and respectable talents.